In the last three films we present the basics of the smallest thermal imaging goggles in the world. The Tilo by Anders Industries from Berlin. What if you could not only wear the Tilo directly in front of your eyes and use it as glasses, but also place it in front of a weapon site within seconds if necessary? Even if the Tilo was not specific designed to mount on a weapon, it's easily possible to do so and she is definitely robust and brings all the requirement to this. To more precise in front of the target optics. As previous described, the thermal imaging device cannot see through glass. As in this example, my normal glasses look like strong sunglasses. Funny, right? Place the thermal in front of the target optics and this combo works very well. There are basic three different types of weapon optics that comes into questions. First, there is the rifle scope with a small magnification. There is the red dot optics and there are special optics. The optics shown here are quick mounting solution. It means the Tilo can be brought in front of the optics in a few seconds and take down there just as quickly. Let's start with a driven hunt glass, so we call it in Germany. It's a telescopic sight with a 1 to 6 or even 1 to 10 time magnification. In the tactical world it's called LPVO, low power variable optics. It stands for rifle scopes with a lower variable magnification. These are very popular for hunters and of course also with special forces of the police and the military because of their universal application. The Mach Pro from MAK from Germany with a 1 to 6 time magnification has a front diameter of 30 millimeters like most of these types of scope had. If night vision or thermal attachments are often mounted on scopes with an adapter from Ruzan, this is a company called Ruzan, there is no type of this in this size. That is why Anders Industries from Berlin offered a special 30 mm clamp adapter for this purpose. It should be said again, the Tilo 3 only has a plastic ring on the back to hold the eye cup. A metal bayonet adapter ring is required here on the back of the Tilo for attaching the shutter eye cap or the mounting on a target optic. This can be ordered as an accessory in Berlin. The Tilo 6 have here already has this bayonet adapter integrated in the housing. In order to mount the Tilo in front of a LPVO, it takes a 30 mm adapter, push it over the front of the scope and clamp it. If the clamp ring is too wide or too narrow, you can adjust it on the opposite side with an Allen screw. The best way to place the locking button, position it upwards. In this way the Tilo can be solved more easily. Now the Tilo is attached with a bayonet ring and turned approximately 45 degrees counterclockwise, seen from behind, until it snaps into the place. Due to the design of the Tilo and the battery compartment facing downwards, the Tilo should be mounted upside down on all assemblies. It means rotated on 180 degrees. This leaves enough space for the weapon underneath the Tilo. To remove the Tilo again, press the retaining bolt with your fingertip and then turn the Tilo 45 degrees clockwise to loosen it again. The clamp assembly can be easily remained if you like this. Now you can combine the carrying ways nicely. For example, if you have the Tilo on your head with a headband or on the helmet, you can now remove the little one and attach it to the weapon optics. Or of course, vice versa. If the Tilo is correct collimated, the point of impact will not shift and you will hit the target as usual with your daylight 
optics. One thing you should always be keep in mind, when you're mounting a thermal device in front of a scope, you look through the optics at a monitor. If you increase the focal length on your scope, increasing the magnification, you only zoom on the display and not on the actual target. The individual pixel of the displays become visible quite quickly. But the target image is not really enlarged. It's like sitting closer to the TV to see more details in the film. It's therefore advisable to use the Tilo on a one-time magnification on the scope. If you want to be closer to the target, then you prefer to go to the internal zoom of the Tilo and use this to enlarge the target image. I would now like to show you a special application of the Tilo here. The Elkan from Spectre is a one and four times optical sight that is used by many authorities, military and police units around the world. It's very robust and offers a radical specific adapted to the ballistics of the used weapon. The front diameter is 40 mm and this is exactly why there is a special adapter from Anders Industries with which you can attach the Tilo using the same bayonet lock. In this way the Elkan together with the Tilo becomes a thermal side optic. Cool, right? Here you should set the Tilo to two times magnification to optimize the picture. If you use a red dot optic, also called a reflex sight, such as aim point, holosun or similar, preferably with a magnifier behind it, there's also a special solution for it. And it's called the red dot flipper. The red dot flipper basically consists of two parts. One, on one hand, there is the housing with a lens that reduces the image of the Tilo display and the optional flip mount. This allows the whole thing to be quick folded in front of the reflex side and also quickly swiveled away if needed. So I can switch between the real and thermal image of the target in a matter of seconds. A very cool story, right? Of course, you could also switch the Tilo between head and weapon assembly here, depending on the situation and application scenario. This is actually only possible because we have such a small thermal device. Image the standard thermal attachment weighting weight 500 to 600 grams on such a flip mount. Why the image is reduced? Without an optic, the view over the distance through the reflex side would not be optimal because the Tilo is primarily, primarily designed as a wearable glass in front of the eye and therefore it has a large display. The optics in the red dot flipper ensures that the correct image in front of the red dot. For optical reason, the viewing angle through the red dot flipper is only 12 degrees, which roughly corresponds to the usual viewing angle through the reflex side. In order to be able to recognize the target image better, the Tilo should be set on two times magnification digital. Alternatively, the use of a magnifier such as in three times is an optimal solution. The image is perfectly inclined and has an excellent quality. The possibility of making a reflex optic with thermal functionality to observation and reconnaissance in just a few steps is brilliant. In Germany, there is still a legal restriction for the civilian sector to use the Tilo on a weapon. As of spring 2023, even if hunters with a valid hunting license in Germany are allowed to use night and thermal attachment without own radicals, mounting a lamp on a weapon is prohibited in most federal states. Since the Tilo has three lamps, it must be taken into account and should therefore only be used by people with the appropriate permission. Unfortunately, the argument that the built-in lamps are good as a headlamp to their performance but less suitable as a weapon light does not count here. 
but the current legal situation could still change. As we have seen, there are many exciting possibilities for this powerhouse from Berlin. Whether worn on the head or even mounted on a weapon in front of a target optic. This small Tilo brings light into the dark in multiple ways. However, we are far from finished presenting the Tilo. For this, stay tuned, be safe, it will stay exciting.